Is the hand quicker than the eye? Well, probably. But is the eye quicker than the unblinking camera lens capturing footage at 360 frames per second? So I shot a series of tricks in slow motion. We're talking 12 times slower than real time. So let's start with the tricks. First trick we have is these two coins. Okay, I'll grab one of the coins and one of them vanishes, one of them stays. Okay, I would just say let's go ahead and see the slow motion because, you know, we're used to seeing tricks in real time. But not in slow motion. Here's the slow motion. Okay, so the two coins and there it is. Honestly, you can't really see much, but again, I think what I did wrong is that for this video, I shot a trick that involved, like the thing that's happening is happening behind my hand, so it's well hidden. So I don't know if it really makes sense, but yeah, that's the only the first trick. This is the only trick that involves me covering the hand. The next trick I'm about to show you is a trick I actually learned yesterday. And if you didn't see the first episode of Magician vs. Slow Mo Camera, I leave it down in the description, go see it, because I did the exact same trick, but with two hands and cards covering the coins. It's called the card, a coin matrix, and uh, this is just a matrix with one hand, nothing covering it other than my hand. So watch this because it's a really cool trick. Let's go ahead and watch the normal speed. Here it is. It is so nice. It actually looks like the coins are traveling into nothing they're just teleporting so let's go ahead and see the slow motion one let's go okay there it is three two one and there it is okay so first coin really cool really clean okay second coin even cleaner i'm scared for the second last one because it's okay you could i slightly flashed it but it's not that big of a deal because again i flashed it but i think i only realize I only realized how you know that I flashed it because I know how it's done so I'm looking for the error but yeah let me know down below if you actually see things that I don't see if I flash or if I don't flash so let me just see that uh, by telling me down below in the comments next up really easy shake change here it is let's see I just shake the ace of hearts and it becomes the ace of spades classic classic move and I'm not gonna lie to you so I'm kind of scared to see the slow motion because I feel like you will see exactly how it's done in slow motion so grab the ticket card if you want to learn because I'll definitely flash this. There it is. Three, two, one. And yep, I pretty much just did a tutorial on my channel because that is pretty. I just explained it for how bad it was in slow motion. So, yeah, that's how it's done. Grab yourself a deck of cards and do it. And yeah, because I just taught you. Next up, we have a trick with a Sharpie that I discovered this February. And I actually fell in love with it because it's so clean, it's so nice, but never done in slow motion. So, very curious. Here it is. Okay, so it actually looks like the Sharpie is just melting through my hand. And I think it is so beautiful to just see this. And yeah, there's nothing else to say. Let's just go ahead and see the slow motion. Here we go, normal. And here is the slow, okay. I don't know what to say about this because yes, it still looks like it's melting through my hand. But again, you can kind of understand how it's done. But, but, I'm um, pretty satisfied with the result. I thought it was going to be way worse. I thought it was going to be as bad as the last trick I did. But, yeah, I'm um, completely fine with how it turned out. Next up, we have a coin trick. But not any coin trick. We have a trick with an invisible coin purse. Yep, it's just a rim, nothing else. And we have a coin that's in my hand right there. We throw it in, and it completely vanishes. I'm actually very curious how this turned out in slow motion. I don't know what this, I don't even have any predictions if it turned out well or bad, so the only way to find out is just let's see. Okay, here it is. I just show the rim, beautiful. Then coin, and slow motion, three, two, one. Okay, 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 you know what? Not too satisfied, but I'm not, you know, I'm not mad about it, because the only, the, actually, the thing that I actually like a lot is the fact that you can hear the coin fall. You know, you can actually hear the coin just drop almost like if inside of the invisible coin purse there's more invisible coins here and the coin dropped in case you don't understand here's a replay of what i mean by the sound next up soccer punch let's see it's just a coin that i wiggle in my hand and it changes color but not just on one side of course it changes its color on one and on the other side and then it's completely checkable controllable whatever you want to call it and yeah again by the way, before I show all of these tricks, when I show the normal speed one, comment down below if you think that, uh, you know, if it's, got, if it's gonna flash, if it's not gonna flash. So yeah, let me know definitely down below what you think about this. Okay, let's go ahead and do the slow motion, normal speed, and here's the slow motion. Again, I forgot about this. 
the trick is happening behind my hand again just like the but at the same time it's not if you think about it because it's happening yes behind my hand but i am wiggling inside and i'm wiggling it outside when it changes color so it's not really happening in my hand and then i show both sides yeah i mean not to say pretty good now this trick i'm about to show you is might look like the stupidest magic trick the dumbest magic trick you've ever seen in your life but it's actually the hardest one of all of these of course you know what i mean it's not hard to learn it's the easiest one to learn it's straightforward but it's the one that took me the most to film so let's go just a ketchup packet there is also um a mayo version to this and i have the both of them because they come in like a double packet but yeah ketchup goes in your hand and it vanishes now i feel like this is going to last quite a lot like the slow motion version but see okay so here's the drop see it is going to last a lot now i think it's really cool just a big dollop the big drop at the at the start whenever it goes the only good thing about this i think is whenever the magician lifts up the ketchup packet or the mayo packet and you can actually see the stream of ketchup liquid sauce whatever it is going inside and you can clearly see that and i repeat this movement not one but two times and then you just put it all on your hand and boom you take the packet out and in your hand the liquid is supposed to be there but it's actually not because you show that it vanishes absolutely amazing trick so this all leads to a question was my sleight of hand faster than slow motion camera or was the slow motion camera faster than my sleight of hand well i'm going to leave that up to you in the comment section let me know what you think if i was faster if the camera was faster remember to subscribe thanks for watching my name is Matilda peace out